everyone thinks that Farrington Village is so far away. Um, I think we're in an ideal um, location. It's almost like a, a getaway within the triangle. We have much to do out here. Um, obviously we have the inn and the restaurant. It's, it's, very, it's very relaxing, you don't have to go very far, but, if, but when you come here, it feels like you're a million miles away. The cows are uh, uh, belted Galloway cows. They, they're pretty much, pe some people don't know the name Farrington, but when you mention the Oreo cows, that's, that's the Farrington staple. They know exactly where we are. Um, and, the cow, and the cows are a huge draw. And, that's, and that's, the whole de that's the whole deal of the village. You know, it's been here a long period of time. Um, we've had a lot of growth within the village. But it's, it's based around an old farm. You know, the barn where we do our large catering events is the barn. Um, the granary, which is um, a restaurant where we serve lunches during the day, that's the old, the old mill. And then the Farrington House is obviously the Farrington House. So, you know, there's a lot of history here. Um, there's a lot of gardens. There's, there's just generally a lot of stuff for people can come out. Um, there's a lot of unique plants here. Um, it's, it's, it's a good day to come out and have lunch and just wander around and look at the cows. The cows around Farrington, um, along with the black and white trademark, we also have Tennessee fainting goats. Um, which we have uh, um, out in the back pasture and then they get brought up through the village. <laughs> We're the only AAA Five Diamond restaurant in the country which is um, green certified. We're in an ideal situation um, being where, being where we're, we're located, you know, what comes through the door we um, compost and then it gets reused in the gardens um, so it's it's just it's just one big uh, sustainable circle it's an experience you know when you come out to the Farrington house uh, you know I try and lean on as much local as ingredients as possible I have a grower which uh, grows for us on property we have our own herb garden and then we go to the farmers markets ourselves and you know everyone can pick out the chefs um, you know, we have a, we end up walking through the crowds with lots of uh, fresh produce, which you know I think is very important. This is the dish that we have currently on the menu. It's uh, seared North Carolina mountain trout with butternut squash puree, potato gnocchi, and a maple velouté. This is another dish on the current menu. It's a smoked pork shank with cauliflower beignet, a side of sauce, and truffle oil. We feature. Um, six cooking classes throughout the year which I hold myself and um, my sous chef helps me. It's a, a two-day package where they come and stay at the inn and then um, they have an hors d'oeuvre reception and then they come over for a five course tasting menu and then they, uh, they report eight o'clock the next morning they have their breakfast and then we have a six to seven hour cooking class and they eat what pretty much what they make. My teaching style is very relaxed I just want people to come in and learn and have fun, and uh, and I, f I, f I do find them very enjoyable.